This little cutie was tested at the Atlanta Botanical Garden in the US. Meet Slothbot. It's in no rush, and it doesn't need to be. Slothbot's job is to collect data, particularly tracking weather and carbon dioxide levels. In this line of work, regularity matters more than speed. To stay operational for as long as possible, the robot's powered by solar panels. See that cable? Slothbot moves along it to find the best spot for recharging. The rest of the time it just hangs there motionless. In this mode, the developers believe Slothbot could function not just for months, but for years. Sounds practical. Meet Quadroin, a robot inspired by penguins. It can dive to depths of 150 meters and help scientists gather data about the ocean. Quadroin swims at 18.5 kilometers per hour and runs for 10 hours on a single charge. This robo-penguin measures temperature, oxygen levels, pressure, and other parameters. It also streams video from two HD cameras and uses sonar to scan the seabed. Quadroin can carry up to 3 kilograms of extra equipment. All the data it collects can be sent via Wi-Fi or through an optional Iridium satellite module. Bee Eater Technology and is focused on developing robots with bird-like wings. They already offer a robotic seagull that can fly for about 10 minutes. And they're currently testing other designs too, like this black crowned crane robot. These machines may look a bit odd in the air, but in the long run they could be incredibly useful for advancing biomimetics and studying bird behavior. Enceladus, the sixth largest moon of Saturn, is fascinating because it hides an ocean beneath its surface, and where there's water, there might be life. And that's why studying Enceladus is so important. But how do you explore a place where the temperature drops to minus 200 degrees Celsius? With robots, of course. Meet Eels, a snake-like robot built for a mission to Enceladus. It's 4 meters long and weighs 100 kilograms. Its unique feature is a series of 10 segments, each with spiral elements. Eels can burrow into the ground, choosing the best path using cameras and sensors, and even drill through ice to collect samples for analysis. Centauro is a rescue robot designed with the body of a modern centaur. It can quickly reach victims using its four legs, each with six degrees of freedom. Its arms aren't just for moving heavy objects, they can also break through obstacles like wooden barriers. Each arm can lift up to 11 kilograms. The developers are working on teaching Centauro to walk and climb over very rough terrain. On a full charge, it can operate for about two and a half hours. By the way, the European Commission has funded its development. What do you think? Is it a waste of resources or a really promising rescue robot? XFly is a flying robot inspired by nature, combining features of birds and insects. It's the first of its kind to mix a complex wing flapping mechanism with an innovative sensor and gyroscope system that isn't affected by the flapping. This means XFly can fly smoothly both indoors and outdoors. You can control it with a remote or a smartphone using just one hand. A single charge gives it up to 12 minutes of flight time. That's pretty good, considering it can reach speeds of up to 20 km per hour and has a range of 100 meters. It's no surprise that this toy-like robot has caught the eye of the French military, but anyone can buy it. XFly starts at $135. The Manta Droid Robotic Ray is a game-changer for ocean researchers. It was created to explore underwater environments and looks like a giant manta ray, also known as devilfish. The developers think the manta ray is one of the most elegant and skilled swimmers in the world. That's why Manta Droid copies both its shape and movements. And it works. 
because it allows this robot to swim at 2.5 kilometers per hour for up to 10 hours. Its body is packed with sensors, making it useful not only for scientists but also for rescue teams during search operations. Experts estimate that by 2035, Japan will face a shortage of around 3.8 million workers, and some sectors are already feeling the pinch. So, it's time to get creative with robotics. Meet SPD-1, the little guy on your screen. It's smaller than a soccer ball and weighs about 3.5 kilograms. Its job is to inspect and repair sewer pipes. SPD-1 can work solo or in a team of three. One robot leads the group, another scans for defects, and the third handles repairs. Pretty cool. Now they just need to find more operators. Meet Russell, a 5-meter robotic giraffe. It walks, talks, and can give rides to up to 30 people. What a useful robot! On top of that, Russell also doubles as a hands-on learning tool. For example, kids are more likely to retain information if they get to study Russell instead of sitting through a boring lecture about gears. A creative approach to education. Who knows, maybe some of those kids will grow up to build robotic giraffe necks like this one. For now, that's a job for specialists at the Tokyo Institute of Technology. They're using special artificial muscles, 3D printed vertebrae, and even a skull that weighs almost half a kilo. Developments like this are vital for building large robots, and they prove once again that nature is not just an inspiration, but a guide. Corleo isn't just the world's first robotic horse, it also runs on hydrogen. The engineers at Kawasaki have really outdone themselves with this one, and this is only the start. Corleo is driven by advanced AI algorithms and can move its hind legs separately from the front, helping it stay balanced even on rough terrain. It's designed for long journeys, adjusting its stride to different surfaces. Plus, it's not just for delivering goods. Corleo can carry people, too. It can reach speeds of up to 25 kilometers per hour. Would you take a ride on this robotic horse, knowing that it has a 150cc hydrogen engine inside? You have some time to decide, because Corleo is still in the concept phase. But looking at what it can do, it's clear that robotics is galloping forward quickly. Over hundreds of millions of years, lampreys haven't changed much. So, why not take inspiration from them when designing robots? That's exactly what happened. Meet Agnatha X. This robotic lamprey is helping scientists better understand how nervous systems work. Agnatha X is both a central and peripheral nervous system. Tests showed that it swims best when both are active. In particular, it handled various issues like sensor failures more effectively. The data from these tests are valuable, not just for neurobiology, but also for the future of swimming robots. At the time of its dramatic debut on the global robotics stage, Titanoboa held the title of the world's largest robotic snake. It stretched an astonishing 15 meters and weighed 800 kilograms. Incredible! Clearly, the four years spent developing Titanoboa were not wasted. The team even planned to make this extraordinary snake float and function underwater. Creepy. The Loch Ness Monster's got nothing on this thing. Meet Charlie! This robotic monkey impresses everyone right away with its agility and flexibility. It walks on all fours, but can also stand steadily on two legs. It balances easily, gets back up if knocked over, and shifts its center of gravity to stay upright on slopes and uneven terrain. Charlie also has a flexible spine, making its turns and tilts more natural. Surprisingly, the German Aerospace Center funded its development, so we might see robots like Charlie on the moon one day. What comes to mind when you think of a robotic bull? 
While four-legged machines are becoming smarter and stronger, Miami has introduced the Miami Bull, a futuristic take on Wall Street's legendary charging bull. It looks as if it steps straight out of a sci-fi novel. At the same time, real robot mules like the LS-3, a walking support system for military units, are already being trained to carry heavy loads across rough terrain. This metal giant is a reminder that the future is already here. Fans of science fiction know what makes the French city of Nantes famous. It's the birthplace of Jules Verne, born there in 1828. But today, Nantes has another amazing attraction, the Grand Elephant Robotic Beast. This giant weighs 48.4 tons, and it has many wooden components. It's used to give rides to tourists. Sure, the Grand Elephant is slow, with a top speed of just 3 km per hour, but it makes up for it with its size, carrying up to 50 passengers and offering a scenic view from a height of 12 meters. The Kabutom RX-03 robotic beetle is equally impressive, especially when you consider it was built by just one person, 60-year-old Japanese engineer Hitoshi Takahashi. Could you build an 11-meter-long, 17-ton giant on your own? Takahashi didn't just build it, he made it work. The Kabutom RX-03 doesn't just move, it puffs out smoke too. It can be controlled either remotely or from the inside. 11 years of work, but it definitely paid off. The Niamo Robo Mouse is useful not only for studying the behavior of real mice, but it could also be of help in future rescue missions. Niamo can run for up to 25 minutes on a single charge and weighs only 275 grams, making it about the same size as a real rodent. Picture this. Rescuers arrive at a collapsed building, open a case, and dozens of Niamos spread out to search for survivors. Pretty impressive, right? Especially since this robo-mouse runs on an affordable Raspberry Pi Zero single-board computer. Thanks to its ultra-flexible spine, the new version of Niamo can navigate a maze 30% faster than the previous one and even stay balanced on just three legs. All the pandas in the world belong to China. If you've seen one in a zoo abroad, know this. They're not sold, just leased. But they're so adorable. Wouldn't it be nice to see them more often? Well, you can if you get a Meta Panda. This robot's quite small, so it's easy to carry in a backpack wherever you go. What can Meta Panda do? It mimics the behavior of real pandas, understands over 30 voice commands, and features expressive eyes with dozens of animations. Give it a hug and you'll even feel a heartbeat. It's made from top-quality synthetic fur that's hypoallergenic and soft to the touch. On a single charge, Meta Panda runs for 12 hours. The price is $355. What do you get when you cross a pigeon with a drone? Pigeon Bot. Like a real bird, it can change the shape of its wings and tail. That means it doesn't need a vertical stabilizer. It reaches speeds of up to 40 km per hour. In other words, pigeon bots still slower than real pigeons. But so what? This drone is pushing forward scientific and technological progress. Its control system was designed based on studies of bird reflexes. For instance, when Pigeon Bot tilts to the left, the right wing folds slightly, while the left one spreads wider. That's fascinating and full of potential, especially for the future of aviation. All rovers ever sent to Mars have one thing in common. Wheels. But are they really necessary? Let's ask the developers of Spacebok. This robot has no wheels, but it still showed impressive performance during tests. It's less stable than traditional rovers, but it can reach places they can't, 
like Martian caves or rough rocky areas. And it can jump. If you toss space bock onto the moon, for example, it will hop across the surface at the speed of a galloping horse. Maybe robots like this will help space exploration make a giant leap. Norwegian designer Kari Halvorsen, also known as Zenta, gained fame for his incredibly cool robots. One of them is this transformer named Morphex. This six-legged robot doesn't just walk in a funny way, it can curl up into a ball. Making it all work required a pretty complex setup. The robot contains 25 servo motors, an ARC-32 controller board, and XB radio modules. As a result, Morpex can even roll under control on a slope. What's most amazing is that Halverson builds these robots as a hobby. Dogs, watch out! You've got some robotic competition with the Xiaomi CyberDog 2. It's already on the market for $3,338, and more than a toy, it's a real companion. Like many real dogs, CyberDog 2 responds to commands like sit and shake. Plus, it can ride a skateboard, do backflips, and connect with smart home systems. Just say the word, and CyberDog 2 can dim the lights, close the curtains, and handle other tasks. Its face isn't just a touchscreen, it also shows useful info like battery level, mood, and other important details. Of course, it's all powered by AI algorithms, which let this robo-dog react to its environment almost like a real pet. Drop your thoughts in the comments below, and if you found this review helpful, give us a like, smash that subscribe button, and turn on notifications to catch you in the next video.